Okay, that's fun. <laughs> Ooh, it makes your hand tickle. <laughs> that's weird. Hello, everyone. Welcome uh, to my sister's basement again. <laughs> hey, today uh, we're going to finish up this countertop. Now, there's still one more to do, but we're going to finish up this one. We've got a sander, a little palm sander. It is intense. Listen to this. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, so I have some 50 grain grit, 50 grit, 50, I can never remember what you, I don't know, 50. Um, I also have some 80 uh, sheets. Um, so we're going to sand it down. We're going to get it to the smoothness that I want it. And then my sealer finally came. This is Cheng's um, concrete countertop sealer. Uh, it's food safe, it's non-toxic. Uh, if you're using concrete for a countertop that you think food might go on, that you might later eat, which not that I plan to like eat off the counter, but why not, you know? Um, you need this, or a, a, another one that's similar. I, there are probably other ones. This is what everyone uh, recommended. And by everyone, I mean all of the blogs and things that I read about uh, concrete countertops. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's sand. First, I'm gonna go over it. There's just a few like really coarse, rough places. I'm going to go by hand with the uh, 80 grit grain stuff. <laughs> I know everyone's gonna let me know in the comments which is correct. I think grit. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna do this by hand, and then we have a, a finer uh, grit grain. <laughs> <laughs> that we're putting on here. So let's do this first. It's not gonna be much, but let's do it. Okay, done. <laughs> well, not done, but we're done with that. So now we're gonna pop one of these onto the sander. I don't know how many I got. Four, there's four of them. I'm sure that's enough. I'm not sure. I hope it's enough. So, these are kind of like Velcro. Well, not kind of Velcro. That's precisely what they are. And it just goes on there. I don't know how this is going to work. I've never used one of these. I, mean, I know how it's going to work, but I've never used one. So, oh, wish me luck. <laughs> it's loud. That's fun. <laughs> Ooh, it makes your hand tickle. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I had a feeling this might happen. <clears throat> I um, have just a few spots where some wood got exposed. Um, so I just mixed up a tiny bit of concrete. It's actually still more than I needed. Um, I'm gonna add this over those spots. I'm gonna have to let it dry. Um, and then we'll do a very light sanding and then we'll uh, get up in here with, uh, with the sealer. Okay. So I'm going to do these and then we're going to take a break and then we'll finish it up. Okay. Hey, I took care of them. You can see there weren't very many, but there were just a few, more than a few, but not tons. But, uh, it's, uh, it's ready to go. I'm going to let those dry. Those will need just a light sanding. And then it's time to seal, which is gonna kind of be a process, so strap in. <laughs> okay, folks, it's dry. I just need to sand these uh, these new spots and we're ready to start sealing. Woohoo! Okay, guys.
guys, it's uh, we did it. We sanded them down. It's time to uh, to start sealing. Uh, this is the stuff. <laughs> Chang's, can you see it? Yeah, Chang's um, concrete countertop sealer. We already talked about it, so you already know what it is. Um, <clears throat> I'll put a link to the um, to a couple things below. A, the product, and B, uh, the company puts out a really awesome video on how to do it. It's really easy, but they um, <clears throat> they tell you how. So anyway, the first thing we have to do is uh, wet down the concrete. Um, so let's do that. It's interesting. It's um, it's like a penetrating sealer. <laughs> so it, um, like it absorbs into the concrete, uh, which is interesting. So uh, yeah, it has to be wet. The concrete has to be real wet, actually. So let's wet it down. Guys, <laughs> things are not going as planned. I don't know why, but um, when I put the water on here, um, the, ouch, <laughs> the spots that I had covered earlier where the wood was showing um, have like re-emerged. So I don't know if I should have left that concrete to cure longer. I mean, it dried for like six or seven hours and like, felt super dry, but I wonder if it was not. <laughs> oh man. So, we can't seal this. I've got to fix these. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so the good news is it's uh, cleaned off, all the dust is off, and it is awesome. It looks so good. The bad news is, you know, those spots were uncovered, so got to cover them again. Um, I think it just needs to cure longer. So, guys, this video is really anticlimactic because <laughs> it's just not going to happen in this video. Um, yeah, sorry. Let's get these spots covered. Okay, guys, it's tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I decided to give it one more shot. So I let this dry overnight. I think it's dry dry. I think it's like set. I mean, it's not cured like obviously long term, but I think it's fine. It's so thin. Um, so let's uh, let's sand it and see what happens. Okay. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, it might actually be okay, guys. <laughs> I'm serious. So, um, I have a, a lot of water, not a lot of water, <clears throat> but the first thing we're gonna do is take a very small amount of the Cheng's concrete sealer, put it in, like a one to three ratio, and now we're going to cover the whole counter with this, okay? We wanna keep it wet, and we wanna do this immediately after wetting it the first time. Um, once we're done with this, we're going to wait 20 to 30 minutes and then do it again and then do it again and we're going to do it over and over again. So I think it might be working. I don't know, guys. Okay, that layer is on. We're going to wait 20 minutes. We'll be back in a few. Okay, I am back. It has been 40 minutes. Uh, I'm going to put the next coat on the concrete countertop. Uh, it's looking good looking real good. Um, so I'm gonna get the next coat on. Uh, I'm trying to warm up. There's a water, li uh, water line break at my sister's house. So uh, things are a little wild right now. <laughs> but let's get this on here. Okay guys, so not awesome news. Uh, there's a water leak at my sister's house. Of course, Big Jack just like has a backhoe and knows how to fix it. <laughs> of course he does. Uh, so we're gonna take a break from the counter countertops. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea, but I can stand here and provide moral support, I guess.
Okay guys, I'm helping Big Jack out by turning the water on for the whole like farm. But it's, uh, this is where the water is. It's right there in the ground, <laughs> in the middle of this cattle pasture. And their house is way over there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The first thing I have to do is haul my fat buns over this fence, which is going to be entertaining. I'm gonna let you watch. You're welcome. So this is so bizarre. This is where the water is. <laughs> It's right here. It's actually not that bizarre, but it is. This is the water meter, and this is how we turn the water on and off. So we're gonna we're gonna test it. We're gonna see. Hopefully, uh, when I turn this on, he can see where the leak is. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you can see. This isn't going to be that exciting. You probably don't need to see or want to see. But you get to anyway. fancy hat. Gigi made them. They're giant. <laughs> so did we find it? Okay guys, so I am officially, <laughs> officially calling it quits with the countertop. <laughs> <laughs> not like the whole countertop. We're not completely calling it quits, but I am calling it quits with this sealer. Um, <clears throat> so we have a few spots. So first of all, just a reminder, this is not solid concrete. This is the Ardex feather finish, lightweight concrete. Um, so it's on a frame made of two by fours and OSB. And because it's a penetrating sealer and it requires it to be really, really wet, it, which somebody warned me about this and I was in the comments and I was like, nah, I don't think so. And they're totally right. <laughs> but um, there's just a few spots where like little barbs of the OSB underneath are absorbing the water and like popping up. Um, it's, there's just a couple, it's not a big deal, but if I continue to keep putting layer and layer uh, on this, I, I just don't want the OSB to like warp or anything like that. So I don't know, I'm not an expert, but I think probably the Ching's a water or water-based concrete countertop sealer, I think it's probably not for this application. I'm sure it's great on a solid concrete countertop, but I think I'm gonna have to take a more conventional route, do a conventional um, concrete sealer, and then there are non-toxic like waxes and things you can put on it. Um, so, this was a great lesson in how not to seal feather finish concrete countertops. <laughs> <laughs> the water line's fixed, it's all done, it's good to go. Um, so I, I think one of the frustrating things is that this project isn't something I can do like in a day or a couple days. It's taking so many days, which is fine, but I'm not known for my attention span. <laughs> so having to come back to this day after day is starting to wear on me. But I do love how they look. That should be noted. I love, I love it. I love it a lot. I love that texture. I love them. So they're going to be worth it. They're going to be awesome. But this was not a success. <laughs> Bye. Did I just hear you say that you desperately want access to insider information and special perks? Well, check out my Patreon page right here. And don't forget to subscribe right here, or just watch another video right here. Do uh, you know? Do all the do all the things. Do them all. <laughs>